Hey all, welcome to the video session of MahindraGuru.com wherein today we are going to discuss the differences between the various terminologies and concepts of the computer subject. Let's see what differences we have for this video session. Often we, we, we often see that the examination asks certain differences. Now what is the difference between compiler, what is the difference between compiler and interpreter, what is the difference between a router and a gateway etc etc etc. Let's see what all differences we have in this video session. The very first difference that we have is in between the, yes, we have the high level language and the low level language. Now, what is a low level language and what is a high level language? Let's learn. First of all, we have the definition for the low level language. What is a low level language? Actually, we have a misconception that the machine level language is only the low level language available, but it is not so. We have the machine level language as well as the assembly language that falls into the category of low level language. Yes, the low level language is classified as, uh, under uh, is classified into two and the first one we have is the machine level language that is closest to the hardware and the second one we have is the assembly language that makes use of the mnemonic codes. Let's see what advantages we have in the machine level language. The advantages we have is the first one that it is closest to the hardware. Machine level language is closest to the hardware that falls into the category of low level language and so as it is closest to the hardware, no translation is required. Hence, no translator program is required in the case of machine level language that is actually a low level language. But if we talk about the assembly language, a translator is must and the translator that we use in the assembly language is Yes, it is the assembler. Now, moving over to the disadvantages of the low level language, the very first disadvantage that we have is difficult to code. It is very difficult to code in the low level language. It needs, it requires expertise to code in machine level language or the assembly language. These both are categorized under the low level language. I am repeating it again and again. Do mug it up. Now, this was all about the low level language. Let's see what is actually high level language. Now, High level language is actually a language that is written in simple English grammar. Let's read out the definition of high level language. High level language is a language designed to ease the process of coding. Now, the primary motive, the prime motive of designing the high level language is to ease the process of coding, the, to ease the process of coding. Now, what for we are easing the process of coding? It is difficult to code in low level language. Yes, we all are aware of this fact. Now, high level language pro provides us with the feature of coding in simple English grammar. Now, because of this, the high level language becomes simple and easy. And the second advantage we have here is it is the user friendly tool. Now, what are the disadvantages that we see in the high level language? The disadvantages that we see in the high level language is needs translation. As we all are aware of the fact that if I know a language known as English and this uh, and a person who is communicating with me knows Hindi. So to understand the Hindi language, I will require a translator. Hence here a translator is required. Now, when we talk about the translator, it means that we are going to give it a certain period of time that in return will increase the processing time. Now, this is the advantage of high level language. Moving over to the next difference, let's see what we have in the next difference. The next difference is hub versus switch. Now, both are networking device. So, what is the difference between a hub and a switch? Now, this is an important question and it is often asked in the examination. Now, hub is a network device. Yes, we all are aware of the fact. Now, hub operates on dash layer of OSI model. Try to recall it, hub operates on dash layer of OSI model. I will tell you later on, but try to recall it. Okay, hub is a network device that is used to connect various nodes present in a network very true. Hub operates on physical layer. Now the answer is that hub operates on the physical layer of the OSI model. Now what are the total number of layers available in the OSI model? The total number of layers available in the OSI model are dash. It is seven. The total number of layers available in OSI model are seven. Seven layers are available in there in, in the OSI model. Hub broadcasts the data. This is an important point that hub actually broadcasts the, the data. Now, doing so increases the load over a network. Obsolete now. Now not in use. Hub is not in use at present time. This is a point that you should know. Now, 
what is a switch a switch is termed as many a times a switch is termed as an intelligent hub actually a switch works very similar to a hub but the basic difference is that it is an intelligent one to hub broadcast the data but in the case of switch switch never broadcasts the data rather it makes use of the mac address of the device of the destination rather the switch makes use of the mac address of the destination now switch operates on the network layer of the osi model network layer which number of uh, layer is the network layer is it the first one is it the third one is it the fourth one is it the fifth one what is the actual number of network layer in the osi model yes it is the first one we have the physical layer second one we have the data link layer the third one is the network layer and the the number of uh, network layer is the third in the osi model now that was a basic difference between a hub and a switch hub broadcasts the data but in the case of switch it does not broadcast the data rather it makes use of the mac address of the destination moving over to the next difference let's see what we have the di next difference the next difference says compiler versus interpreter now 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 this one is an important one compiler versus interpreter a very important one let's see what is the basic difference between a compiler and the interpreter we know the fact that both are translators that translates the high level language into the low level language now if they both do the same task now what are they two required for compiler and the interpreter the interpreter as we know interpreter translates the high level language into the low level language but following which approach it, it follows the approach known as line by line approach the interpreter converts single line at a time whereas the, the compiler the contrary to the interpreter it converts the entire code entire piece of code at once now this is the basic difference between interpreter and compiler the compiler converts the entire code at once at once and the interpreter converts the code line by line now that was the basic difference between the compiler and the interpreter and both are yes they both are translators that translates the high level language into the low level language moving on to the next difference let's see what we have in the next difference the next difference is router versus gateway now this is also an important one now what is a router and what is a gateway a router is actually a network device we all know that operates on the dash layer that operates on the network layer of osi model it forwards now this is a point that should be copied by you all or this is a point that should be remembered by you all that it forwards the data packets between two networks this is a point that is an important point that a router forwards the data packets between two yes between two networks now do we have anything else yes we have a, 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 another important point and that is a router makes use of the routing table now what is a routing table a routing table is actually a log maintained by the router which keeps the record of the routes that are connected to it and many times also keeps the record of the distance of that particular routes now that this is a router and uh, what is a gateway let's learn what is a gateway a gateway is actually in a single statement i would like to say a gateway is actually an entry point or an entrance to a network let's check the definition a gateway is a network device that acts as the entrance now here we get the important point that acts as the entrance to another network a gateway acts as the entrance to another network and sometimes it is also used to filter the data now this are uh, these are the two points that a gateway is actually used to yes used to act as a or used to work as a what it is used to work as an entrance point to another network and many times it is also used as to filter the data the incoming data rather now on which layer does the gateway operate operates do we have this uh, uh, this information in this definition yes we do have the information the gateway operates on the dll or the data link layer of the osi model and dll is the dash layer of osi model dll is the second layer of osi model now this is an important point again that gateway operates on the dll the second layer of osi model so that was all for this video session and please do
visit us on, uh, us on www.mahindraguru.com and you can subscribe your YouTube channel on www.youtube.com forward slash c forward slash Mahindra Guru videos. Your success is our success. Thank you.